It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, President of Payne Capital Management, along with our Chief Investment Officer, the man with the plan, happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this, well, first weekend of November. I mean, it's uh, the year is winding down, two months to go. You know why I love November, Rye? <laughs> why is that, Bob? Because it's not October. Man, it was a brutal month. <laughs> well, unless you've been living under a rock, we had you know one of the worst months in the market since February of 2009. So you know, definitely the bears were out. Volatility was was back in in big form. So I feel you, Bob. A couple of scars on the on the back from uh, suffering through the month. Well, I love November. I now hate Rocktober, but Rocktober is behind us, so <laughs> it's uh, onward and upward, Rye. Let's do it, buddy. All right, let's do it, man. Uh, we have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about market volatility. There's been a lot of it lately. We're going to talk about all the instability in the market, and we're going to discuss how that's going to impact your financial plan, what adjustments you're going to need to make. We're going to talk about basic financial planning concepts. When you're building your wealth plan, Bob and I are going to break down some of the key terms you need to understand, along with this week's Financial propaganda with all the volatility. There's a lot of propaganda out there in the news, media. Bob and I are going to call out the biggest offenders. And we have our spotlight segment. We have our certified financial planner on the show this morning, Courtney Dominguez. She's going to talk about a real retirement plan that she worked on, talk about how she helped a couple get retirement ready so you can do the same with your own planning and investing. So let's hop to it. Bob, let's talk about the crazy market volatility that we've seen this past month. And you know, for you and me, this is old hat, right? We have been through a lot of these corrections over our career. In fact, over this bull market, there's already been six corrections just like this where the market was down from its peak over 10%. And, you know, what we have found is, you know, a lot of times this can be a big wake up call when you're investing your money. Maybe you're taking more risk than you should have, but usually it's a good time to say, whoa, what the heck am I doing? You know, Rod, what I've learned about corrections, they're like earthquakes. Right, we know they're going to happen. We know that the market lives on a fault line, and they can come at any time. There's no warning. They're short. They're quick. But the question is, will that earthquake have a tsunami following it? Right, and that's what happened in 2008, 2000. We had a big tsunami. So you know, earthquakes are a part of right. nature, and corrections are a part of a naturally functioning stock market. Well, it's a good point because. Let's face it, we're down, I think it, as of last Monday, we were down as much as almost 10%, which is a quote-unquote correction. And we act so surprised, Bob, when these things happen. But the reality of it is, on average, we see about a 13% correction every 12 months. So this is actually very normal market behavior, but we always act shocked. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, we don't. The uh, pundits on the financial propaganda channels do. But you know, it's two steps forward, one step back. You know, The step back is healthy. And you know the thing is, it's how you, it's how you prepare, and it's how you react versus being able to predict, right? So you know the, the markets aren't controllable, but you can control how you invest your portfolio and how you manage your financial plan. Yeah, that's a good point because I mean, the perfect example right now is if look, if you're close to retirement, and all of a sudden you see your portfolio going down dramatically, that probably says you have way too much risk in your portfolio because. The idea is as you get closer to retirement and into retirement, you want to have a portfolio that has less volatility. And that means having less risky assets in your portfolio. You can't have everything in the market anymore. You know, right. It's just like building a house in a, in a hurricane zone, right? We had just had that hurricane, you know, come up right through the panhandle. And on uh, Mexico Beach, we had, you know, all the houses were destroyed except for this one person built a house and, and took the specs, the hurricane specs, you know, that you build now on, on your home and doubled it. So he had a bunker type home that not only survived, it's, it's still there. It's the only one standing. So it's the same thing. You got to build a portfolio that's hurricane proof and earthquake proof. Yeah, no, exactly right. And I think, you know, right now, when you look at your portfolio and, you, and your, your biggest concern is what you just said, Bob, like, is this hurricane going to turn into a tsunami? 
And of course, everyone in the media is telling it is. <laughs> yep. But I think what you have to think about too is because it's like, you might feel like there's no place to hide. Interest rates have come up a little bit. So bond prices have come down. The market's gone down. So I, you know, a lot of times your reaction is, I just want to put my money in cash. But usually just putting your money in cash is not a great strategy. No, it's not. And it, because the biggest um, insidious hidden tax is inflation. And that's what you have to invest your money to protect against inflation. You know, our portfolios, half the return comes from dividends and interest, more than half the return of what we're projecting. So we're already two thirds of the way there every year. So who cares whether the market goes up or down in October or November? It really doesn't matter. But you know what? I, I want to be real clear to everyone. No one is a good short term trader. There is no easy money. You know, this is not easy. That's the thing I don't like about Jim Cramer. When I watch him on CNBC, he takes something that's very difficult, very serious, and he makes it into a game, you know, with noises and bongs and whistles. And, you know, it makes it sound like it's so simple. Well, it's not simple. It's hard. And yeah, you've got to, you know, make sure that you have a strategy that achieves your goals. Yeah, no, it's, it's funny you said that because I was at a conference last night and someone told me, well, you know, I can tell the, the professionals, quote unquote, they're bringing the market down here on purpose so they can get better pricing to buy into. And it's like there's these this Illuminati <laughs> you know, of investing yeah. that we're all not privy to, but there's this like small group of investors that control everything. Yeah, it's just not true, right? Most traders actually lose money over time. We've seen big banks make terrible decisions with their money. And that's why a lot of them have gone out of business over the years. So you're right, like, like all those things aren't really true. But what's important, and I think it's important right now is if your portfolio is not to what you would call by the sleep point. If like you are staying up at night or you're worried because of this market volatility, you're probably not allocated properly. And as you get closer to retirement and into retirement, you really want a portfolio that's more income generating than dependent on if the market's up or down. Because like right now is the perfect time to say, wow, this is not a lot of fun. Well, that's the whole thing, right? If you needed your portfolio to be up last month to meet your monthly bills, you have the wrong portfolio, right? If you have the proper portfolio, you make money every day. That interest in those dividends, you know, they pay your bills and, you know, you, you harvest the gains when they come. But if you need them to be there every single month, you have the wrong portfolio, you know. And, and right, the best way to do it is to really do a stress test, right? We have tools that will show you what your portfolio would do based on every scenario that's ever happened in history. And you can see each scenario. And if you can handle it, you stay invested. If you can't, it's time to make a change. Put your portfolio to the test is what I say. Yeah, no, I agree with that 100%. And if you're thinking right now, I'd love to get a stress test. I like to see what kind of risk I have. Why is my portfolio down as much as it is? Is it justifiable? Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Bob and I will run that stress test, our famous total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic financial review that addresses all your financial needs. All you have to do is print those statements out off the computer when they come in this month, put them in a folder, bring them into the office, and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal, which is going to give us a bird's eye view of your entire financial picture. And we're going to look at all the critical components to building a financial portfolio for success. We're going to look at income. Income is critical. You can't be reliant on the ups and downs of the market in retirement. Is your portfolio generating enough current cash flow to fill in your income gap? We're going to show you how to optimize a consistent, steady income stream on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in portfolios, those insurance products, annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you where all the high costs are in your portfolio and how to reduce those. And we're going to look at diversification. Are you protected when the market goes down? Did you really feel it these last couple of weeks as the market corrected? How do you protect yourself in retirement? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, take the pain capital management challenge. Put your plan to the test. Simply call or text 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved over 200,000 for retirement. Our team will create for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you call or text 844 752 6692. 844 752 6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye Payne, and we're the pains of no pain, 
no gain in Intro Radio. Hi, I'm a soon-to-be-retired mom. I'm also a grandmother, and as much as I enjoy visiting with my grandchildren, I'd like to be able to head home at the end of the weekend. I also want to make sure that they get a top-notch education one day. And of course, I want to look out for myself as well. With the proper financial plan in place, I can accomplish all of those goals. What about you? What are you doing to prepare for retirement? Make sure your family is cared for in retirement. And please, don't turn your weekend family visits into a permanent vacation. Schedule a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Take control of your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. This is Ryan Payne filling in for Bob Payne on this weekend's Market Update. With October now finally behind us, now on record as the worst month since September of 2011. In fact, the S&P dropped 9% in 26 days. That's one of the largest, fastest pullbacks of all time. So the lows of this market correction could be in, or we may retest those lows, but either way, we're probably in some sort of bottoming process here. And remember, corrections as a long-term investor are always the best time to allocate capital because they're typically short, emotionally driven, whereas bear markets are typically prolonged, fundamentally driven with broad market declines. So now with global stocks trading at their lowest valuation in more than two years, in fact, during the market drops of the past few weeks, 93% of markets in the MSCI, all country world index, traded below their 200-day moving average and 500-day moving averages. So according to Bank of America, whenever that measure exceeds 88%, remember at 93%, it's a tremendous buying opportunity. So with global prices on sale, a promising meeting this month between President Trump and China's President Xi Jinping, odds are even more favorable for a global recovery as trade fears diminish. So with the world on sale and the future investment opportunities global, is your portfolio repositioned to take advantage of the rapidly changing dynamics of the market? If you want to make sure, you can call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. That's this week's market update. Have a great weekend. Get a clear picture of your finances. I can't see nothing. Got to open my eye. Let's get back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure that you have common sense advice that you can use, practical ideas to make sure you're on track for retirement. That's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. Just a great baseline to get the financial planning process started. You can simply text the word bullish. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can download our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. And Bob, you know one of the things that we talk about over and over again is obviously about having a wealth plan or a wealth projection. You know, that's simply just modeling out what you're going to need in retirement, you know, essentially what you're going to spend, adding in inflation, taxes, all these different variables that are critical. But I find a lot of times that we don't really understand all the concepts that create a wealth plan. I thought it'd be a good idea to break that down this morning for our listeners and just talk about some of those key components to building a true wealth plan. Well, I think that's a great idea, Rye, but I think, first of all, we've simplified the whole wealth projection process by, you know, coining a phrase, a a device, so to speak, called A to B, right? Getting you from point A, where you are now financially, to point B, your dreams and your goals and your values, and then that line in between is how much time we have to get you there and keep you there. So I find that that's a a simple way, you know, sort of a device 
to make sure that you're on track that can be updated every day with your financial portal. So what are some of the key components of point A, Ry? Yeah, I think at first is you got to have that, what we call that income projection. And to me, that's just breaking down, number one, what's going to come in in retirement. So you know, if you know when Social Security is going to come in, you have a lot of different options for that. You may have a pension, which is very rare. Bob, you have a pension right now. I know, right? Does that make me uh, rare or fortunate? <laughs> makes you both, Bob, both. Rare and fortunate. Right, I'll, take, I'll take it. <laughs> um, and also, I think it, and then it's tailing up other income streams, like what portfolio income are you going to be able to produce in retirement? So I think figuring out all those income streams coming in is one of the baselines that you need to figure out. And we do that through our 360 portal, which is just a great place to start to itemize and break these things down. Yeah, but you know what, right? Those two words are so critical. And this is why I have such a hard case against bond funds, because it's fixed income. I mean, how do you make a projection on income from a portfolio that's not fixed? Even though these bond fund salesmen tell people it's fixed income, it's not fixed, right? You have no idea what the income stream is going to be from a bond fund one month to the next, let alone, you know, what's going to be 5, 10, 15 years from now. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I was talking to a, a new client the other day who's looking to, to move some money over for us to invest. And he said, well, you know, I have these bond funds already. They're generating income. Why would I move that money over to you? And I just explained to him, well, the problem is, A, you don't know if that income stream is going to be consistent to your point, Bob. You know, you don't really own the underlying bonds. And also with interest rates going up, that's a negative for bonds. Bond prices go down. There's no protection there. I can't, I said, look, you have no idea when this money's going to come due because it doesn't come due. No, it doesn't. And and so when you have a fixed portfolio of bonds that come due, that mature, when interest rates are rising, you get to invest your money in an increasing yield investment. And then when you make your projection going forward, you know exactly what you're going to earn in income, you know, this month, next month, next year, the following year. So you got to be very careful. And when you have something that's called fixed income, preferred stocks are not fixed income, high yield bonds, funds, you know, government bond funds, corporate bond funds. They're not fixed income. So you want to make sure that that income's fixed. Yeah. And I think the other side of that coin too is on the part that you have invested in the markets. You know, If it's paying dividends, which are income, that's critical too. So if you own a lot of high cost mutual funds, you know, a lot of these high cost brokerage products that a lot of times are sold to you, they don't generate a lot of income. And that's a big problem because right now, again, with the market down, if you had high income producing investments you could still collect that income regardless if the market's up or down. So really running that income projection, I think, is is one of the key components to a wealth projection. The other thing is this that asset allocation summary, you know, that's an extremely important component. Yeah, well that's the thing. Well we run the stress test on everyone's asset allocation and let's face it, you project the future based on your most recent experience. So, you know, some people are feeling a little negative about the future of the financial markets because we just had a uh, a horrible October. But over the last 10 years, markets have been progressing higher. So we tend to take more risk based on the past. And this is why you have to take that portfolio, put it to the test, see what the worst quarter looks like, see what the worst year looks like, because history does repeat, right? It doesn't repeat exactly, right, but it often rhymes. Mark Twain said that, Bob. It's a great quote. <laughs> it's true. It's okay. true. It, a lot of these cycles repeat over and over again. And that also comes down to, and this is why I love our 360 portal, is because asset allocation has to do with what all your investments are doing. So if you think you're diversified because, hey, I've got a brokerage account over here with, let's say, Morgan Stanley. I have money in my 401k. I have money with the bank over here. You have no idea if all that money is working for you or against you. So it's important to understand how all those assets work together, Bob. And especially now when the market's down, like, do you have the right protection in your portfolio, that right asset allocation? And that's something you got to really look at relatively often because markets move every day. And if you have the right wealth projection, Ryan, when you look at everything in concert with every dollar you have, you're able to see what the overall fees are. Having investments in custody in different locations isn't really diversification. What it is, is a way to increasing your cost. You know, it's why companies merge, right? They want to reduce costs. You want to merge your holdings so you can reduce costs and accomplish the same goal of diversification, overcoming inflation, increasing income. And I'll tell you what, right? Every dollar I save you in fee is another dollar in income in your pocket. Bob, I call that an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I, believe um, I believe it is. I believe it is. And also another, another point on that too is 
we find this all the time, but there's a good chance you have all these different fund names, mutual funds and different accounts. And it feels like you're so diversified because they have different names. And then we break them down for you. And guess what? You own all the same things. You own Apple in every single fund. You own Amazon in every single fund. You own Netflix in every single fund. And it's like you're not really diversified. And you feel it now because when that market pulls back, all those stocks that were super hot... They always get hit the hardest, so you always get the most amount of pain as well. So that's like yeah, another right. reason why you want to know. Print. Yeah, what about the fine print that you don't see unless you put it all together? You know, <laughs> like that, oh, I'm paying a 12B1 fee on my mutual fund. Well, what's that? Yeah, what's well, that? <laughs> you pay a marketing expense for the mutual fund company. Most people don't know they're doing that. Or, you know, I don't have any cost or fees, anything that I can find on my annuity, except for I can't take my money out for 10 years because there's a deferred commission. Oh, no, no, that's not a fee. Oh, sure it is. Um, so, you know, you have a unit investment trust. Oh, well, yeah, I roll those over every year and a half. There's no fee. Oh, except for the broker gets a 4% commission, which isn't disclosed on your statement, but it certainly is in a prospectus, which, of course, you don't read. So there's yeah. a lot of benefits, right, putting together a wealth projection. It's not just making sure you have the right income. It's making sure you have the right asset allocation. It's making sure you can stay the course through volatility, and you have the income to fill that gap in retirement. And if you're thinking, you know, after October that I need to be financially healthy, I need to know what I own in my portfolio is appropriate based on the current environment. I need to know whether I'm being overcharged by my portfolio. I have to know if I have an opportunity to succeed in the current environment. Well, here's your opportunity to find that out. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved at least 200,000 for retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now, it's a full holistic review where we'll look at everything. Gather all your statements, put them in a folder, stick them in a shopping bag. We don't care. We're going to take it and break it down and review everything with you and build your own 360 financial portal that'll allow you to see and become financially organized and view your complete financial life in real time at your convenience when you feel like looking. We're going to break down your goals and your dreams, and we're going to track your progress towards those goals on a daily basis. And again, you're going to drop in to look at it at your convenience, not when the broker needs you to pick up the phone. We're going to break down your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. That's diversification, cost, and income. You want to be truly diversified. You don't want to have any hidden risk. You want to be certain that you don't have overlap in your portfolio that as we find out in down markets, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. We want to look at cost. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged by anyone, especially by my own portfolio. And lastly, let's be certain you have that repeatable, dependable income stream that we need to fill that income gap when we're no longer going to work or while we're retired. I mean, the biggest goal my retired clients have, let's stay retired. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together, answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for 40 years? That's right. For over four decades, my family's been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, 844-752-6692. That's call or text, 844-752-6692. Here's your shot. Take the pain challenge. Get a second opinion to make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's call or text, 844 844- 752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Back to radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, with all this crazy volatility in the last couple of weeks, there is sure a lot of financial propaganda out there. 
What's some of the most egregious that you found? Well, Rob, you know, you can't predict the short-term movements of the stock market, but you can predict that the financial propagandist will be out with scary headlines, you know, getting you to, again, to not invest, right? Their whole strategy is to keep you from investing properly. And of course, the worst headline I saw was why falling stock prices could lead to a long, deep, dangerous, horrible recession. Key word here, could, right? Could lead, yeah. but maybe not, too. Yeah, yeah I, and at last I checked, the, the short-term movements of the stock market don't predict anything other than, you know, that they're down from yesterday. Remember, past performance is 100% predictable of past performance. It tells you nothing about the future. And, well, his whole point in this article was that rates are rising, and if rates rise, it's going up because of inflation, and that's ultimately going to cause the P.E. ratio to fall to its historical benchmark. But of course, he doesn't mention the fact that the P.E. ratio is already below the 25 year average. So in English, Bob, it's just like stocks are already cheap, but they might get cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. To the tune of $8 trillion. Insightful. He says we're going to lose $8 trillion or could. We could lose $8 trillion, right? Yeah. Or we could make $8 trillion if the market goes the other way. So we're, where is the value in this advice? I want to know. Well, there's no value in financial propaganda. It's all scare tactics. You know, first of all, if you go back uh, since 1929, when we had a real depression, most recessions have been short and uh, they've been very shallow. And the expansions right now, in spite of the fact that the stock market has been volatile, we're in the second longest expansion in the history of the country, the fourth longest bull market. But of course, these propaganda people, they want to make headlines. They want to make history. They want to predict something that can't be predicted, right? Yeah, I agree with you 100%, Bob. And that's why we do this segment on the show. And that's why we're always looking for the, the biggest offenders. And I actually found same type of you know commentary this week. I found an article talking about Morgan Stanley now is mm. extremely bearish on the markets. And they're saying that this October sell-off is morphing into, they said it, a bear market. I think they actually called it a rolling bear market, right? That, Bob, a rolling bear market is, I have to think that's worse than a regular bear market. <laughs> What's the difference? Actually, there's no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> so they're making things up now. You know, and I just you know, I want to point this out because I think this is important to remember, is that having a, a correction in the market, again, that's from the peak of the market, down 10% or more is what we quantify as a correction, is very, very normal. And to your point about the rarity is if a market does morph into something more than just a normal correction. And I think we, we totally forget that because what happens is anytime the market has a correction, that's when the pundits come out and they just tell you it's apocalypse now. And I think you have to, as an investor, remember on average every 12 months, again, the market sells off about 13%. So this is about as normal as a market as you can possibly have right now. Well, it is, right? Because you know major economies are growing. You know, forward-looking indicators, things like the you know, LEI, the leading economic indices, and businesses' new orders point to positives, right? Things are positive. There's no such thing where one decline in one category spills over to another and affects others. You know, it's just a fancy way of saying, you know, prices drive future returns. They don't. Returns yeah. are driven by fundamentals. That's right. You know, I've actually, a good point about that, Bob, is I have a client who lives in London and she was talking about Brexit, and it's in the news every day, and how horrible it is. It's kind of like probably the equivalent of us to hear about the midterms every day, which you know I just want to cry. I don't <laughs> want to hear about them anymore. And you know we're, we're talking about that, and she's like, everything looks so bad. And then she goes on in the next sentence and says, "Well, the economy's doing great, though. You know, unemployment's down in the UK. You know, sure. job growth is picking up. So it's kind of like you have this big disconnect between what the media is saying and what's actually going on in the underlying economy. And right now, you have in the U.S. specifically, we have historically low unemployment. Economic growth is at one of the best levels it's been in years. If you look at corporate profits, they should continue to go up and be strong for quite a few." more quarters based on all the research that we look at. So I think that's really important to remember that is just like every other correction that we've had in the last 10 years, the underlying fundamentals haven't changed, right? And I love that Who song, Bob, don't get fooled again. So the worst thing you can do here is get fooled and panic out of this market when it's, it's the same old, same old. Just remember, you and I are average, normal human beings. And when we see the big lottery numbers, people run out and buy lottery tickets because the numbers are big. When we see the market go down, 
We go out and sell stock because the market numbers are down. Numbers shouldn't drive your behavior. Your behavior should be driven by achieving financial goals. And last I checked, Rye, when prices are lower, they're a better opportunity. Bob, no truer words have been spoken, and we call that a buying opportunity where I come from. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to be advised on these things. I need to make the right decisions with all this market volatility. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we're going to look at your entire financial picture. All you need to do is bring in those financial statements print them off the computer. It's November now. Wait till they come in the mail, put them in a folder. We're going to go through all of those for you. We're going to build you your own personalized financial portal so we can get a bird's eye view of the whole picture and we can look at all those critical components to make sure you're on track for retirement. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. It's much more reliable than the market going up or down as we've seen lately. We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs. I know it's shocking in financial portfolios. We're going to show you where all the high costs are in those annuities, insurance products, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. Is your portfolio protected on these downturns? Do you have the right asset allocation? We're going to show you where all the pitfalls are in your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. If you're one of our next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. And there's no cost. There's no strings attached. But of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with my son, Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. This is No Pain, No Gain. Now, back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure that you are retirement ready. That's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income. You cannot outlive. Just a great baseline to get the financial planning process started. You can download it for free. You just have to text the word bullish, bullish spelled B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's text the word bullish to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income. You cannot outlive just to get started with the financial planning process. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about me and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can subscribe to the show. You can get all our latest content, ideas, and yes, Bob's hair is real. Check it out for yourself. You have to go to bebullish.com to see that. And you can catch us most weeks. Myself, my colleagues are on most of the major business networks talking about the financial markets, what our thoughts are on the economy, markets. You can check that out. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a really good question, Bob and I will answer it right here on the show. And to help us with questions today, we have our producer, Mr. Mark Haywood. What's shaking, Mark? Gentlemen, good to be with you. As I mentioned last week, I spent my Halloween eating too much candy, and so now I'm recovering. It's, I mean, Mark, we knew it was going to happen. <laughs> it's kale smoothies <laughs> and quinoa Walmart. salad for me. <laughs> I said, well, I'm surprised Mark showed up today. I'm sure he's still eating candy for the weekend. <laughs> he was on that sugar high, right? That's right. R- <laughs> right in that sugar high. I don't want to come down, man. Oh, boy. I digress. Well, uh, we've got some good questions today, as always. We've got one that came to us from Cal in Westchester, and Cal says, we don't have much saved for retirement, but we're about to sell our business for just over a million dollars. We've never really invested in the market before, so we don't really know what we're doing. 
at least he's honest. Where do we start with this new money? Well, I'll tell you what, Cal, that's a great question. I'm going to give you some great advice, and not from me, but from one of my favorite friends and clients, Joe, who sold seven businesses when he retired. And he said, you know, I was an expert in that business. And he said, I would love it to see a guy like you, after 45 years, retire and go into my business and try and compete against me. He said, I'd eat your lunch six ways to Sunday. Hmm. He said, you know, the reason I ask you to help me to put together a plan, and keep me on plan and manage my affairs while I'm in retirement, because I'm not an expert at financial planning. I'm an expert at running those businesses. And, you know, whatever business you were in, Cal, I said, you probably were really good at it because you're selling your business for a million bucks. But sit down with a professional, have them design a plan. Don't sit there and have paralysis by analysis. You know, have a strategy that you can employ. Use an expert. Use somebody who's an RIA or a fiduciary who knows what they're doing. What do you think, Ry? Yeah, no, I think that that's pretty sound advice. It just comes down to, you know, and we, we know this, you're an expert in what you do, and it's great. I'm a big believer in delegation. You want to delegate to somebody who that's all they think about all the time. And, you know, look, it's a big, big event here for Cal, and a lot of you, it's in, you're in the same boat where, you know, once you stop working, you're living off the land now, and I think it's a very scary transition. So to be able to structure your portfolio and your lifestyle to what I would call wealth distribution plan, you know, really takes a lot of planning and thinking. And I think the first thing you always want to do is start modeling out retirement. Before you put $1 to work, you want to start looking at what your needs are going to be and doing that wealth projection, Bob, that we always talk about. Yeah, all right. I, I spoke to a mutual client of ours just the other day, you know, who's retired down in Florida, plays golf probably every day. First six months of retirement, he sat in his office reading research reports was afraid to invest a penny. He had, what, five, six million dollars. And until you and I sat down with him, showed him how simple it was, you know, what needed to be done, what income he would generate, and how he could enjoy his retirement and not have to worry about this and just, you know, go over their quarterly reports and know how he's doing. It changed his life. And he reminds me about that all the time. Just an, another opportunity to, you know, really focus on the next stage of your life. Don't try and become the master of the universe in, in three or four short months. This is hard, right? Investing's hard, planning's hard, you know, go to the pros, you know, and then enjoy your life. Well, thanks for writing in, Cal. We wish you the best. Let's move over now to Bethany in Forest Hills, Queens. Bethany says, how much of the income from my principal can I spend yearly without significantly impacting it? Currently, the income is just reinvested and I'm on a 10-year plan. Now, this is a great one, Bethany, because I love, this is why I love our 360 financial portal. Because really, when you run some sort of wealth or retirement projections, it's all about the what if. And you know, we have this a lot where I call it, sometimes you need what I call a now plan, not just a 10-year plan. Because maybe you are going to stop working for a little bit and you want to draw from your portfolio. may go back to work later. You know, There's so many different scenarios that you can run. And Bob, you know, I find that with our 360 portal tool, we're able to do those kind of projections on the fly that give you a lot of different options for how you can slice and dice retirement, so to speak. Well, it's not just, you know, slice and dicing retirement, right? It's like, where do you draw the income from and and where do you position your assets, right? Sometimes it's better to build a big portfolio of municipal bonds in your taxable account because you're able to draw that income tax-free and you're able to, you know, if you have an emergency, you know, since those bonds are very stable, you know, have a place to get money when you need it and have a lot of your growth in your retirement accounts so that money can continue to grow and you can harvest that properly when you have to do your required mandatory distribution so you can you know keep that money growing you know all through retirement so it, it's not just simply how much income but you know how do you custody your assets how are they titled you know you want a tax efficient portfolio as you so famously always say you know the money i save in taxes is just as green as the income that I'm generating from my investment portfolio. Yeah, and I think taxes never get addressed enough. And that is a great point. You know, there's there's never a lot of thought into where you place your investments. And think about that, right? That That's a very critical thing. You probably have a lot of different accounts. And it's a good question to say what type of investments should be in those specific accounts because a lot of times they can have different tax consequences and furthermore, you know, there's just a lot of other planning you can do around those retirement plans. We talk about this a lot, Bob, but your retirement plan is a ticking tax time bomb. And all that means is when you reach 70 and a half, 
the government's going to force you to take money out of those retirement plans you've been saving in, and you're going to have to pay taxes on it. And there's a tremendous amount of planning you can do around that. Yeah, you know, right. So true. It's 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 complex, and taxes are a big part of what you actually make. Right? It's not what you make; it's what you keep. You know, people like to put money in gold. Right? Gold pays no dividend. So the only way to re- return from gold is to sell it. And of course, it's a collectible. So you got to pay a higher capital gains tax than you would normally on any other investment or an annuity. You know, oh, I got all this guaranteed income. Guaranteed what? Guaranteed to pay tax on that income. First of all, it's not guaranteed. It's only backed by an insurance company and companies can fail. So there's no such thing as guarantees. And secondly, that income is taxable. So on an after tax basis, how much are you actually making? So you really have to look at your marginal tax bracket. You have to look at all the different vehicles that are available. And your advisor needs to build a, for you, Bethany, a tax efficient, right, sustainable cash flow that will keep you in the lifestyle that you are accustomed. So Rye, on a scale of one to 10, how do Cal and Bethany sound in terms of being financially organized? I have to say, Bob, not very financially organized. I'm going to give them a two and a half to three. There's a lot of issues that need to be worked out here. Ooh, ooh, that's brutal. Let me ask all of you, on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized are you right now? Would we all like to be a 10? And if you'd like to be a 10, all you have to do is be one of our next few callers who have saved at least 200000 for retirement. Because Ryan and I will create for you your own personal, holistic view of what you own, and you'll know why you own it. We'll create for you your own 360 financial portal that will not only update your net worth in real time, but also your portfolio on a daily basis. It'll illustrate your goals and how you're tracking towards those goals and how you're progressing towards those goals and what you need to do next. Not only will you become financially organized, but it's the only review you'll ever need. In addition, we're going to look at your portfolio and we're going to break it down into the three key elements of a successful strategy, diversification, cost, and income. You want to be truly diversified, not only across asset classes, but within asset classes, so you're not taking any more unnecessary risks to achieve your goals. You want to look at your cost, you know, fees, being overcharged. That's the last thing I'd like to see in your portfolio. We want to be certain that you don't have any of those unnecessary hidden costs that are buried deep in those contracts. And lastly, income. While we're retired or while we want to stay retired, which should be the goal of everyone who is retired, we need to fill that income gap. You need a dependable income stream that will give us a lifetime of income that we can't outlive. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan that will answer that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A, to your point B, your goals, your dreams with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as only a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We still have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, call or text us now at 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion to make sure you're on track. 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right, and that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. 
It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you have the most common sense, practical advice you can use for your portfolio. That's why we put together our latest video guide, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish. Text it to 555 555- 888, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Just a great baseline to get the retirement planning process started. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And we have a very special guest on the show today. We have my colleague, Bob's colleague, certified financial planner, Courtney Dominguez. What's shaking, Courtney? C. Money Dominguez, as you're called affectionately here in the office. <laughs> that is my nickname. Thanks for having me, guys, as always. It's always good to have you. We're always uh, you know, honored for you to grace us with your presence. Always. And you worked on a case for a couple recently where you helped them get on their path to financial freedom. So why don't you talk a little bit about the case, some of the pitfalls, things that they were doing wrong, and how you helped them essentially get on track. Yeah, so um, this was a couple that I met who is in their early 60s, and they're looking to retire here in the next couple of years so they can go okay. enjoy the things they really want to do rather than just going to work every day. I'm ready for that now, guys. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to go. can go work retire. till his 80s. What's that? I said, I have to go now. It's time for me to retire. <laughs> I think the greatest joy, Bob, is let your son retire before you in life, but just saying. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Go ahead. Now, kind of ironically, I met with this couple a couple weeks back, actually, and this was about two days before the market started correcting in October. So this couple has been very bullish on the U.S. economy specifically, and they knew that they were under diversified. Okay. Specifically, more than half of their accounts are all in your big U.S. companies. Oh, wow. Wow. So they have about 75% of their money is in the stock markets, a high majority of which was all in the U.S. markets. So to put that in perspective, that kind of aggressiveness is how I'd have somebody who's in their 20s and they're just starting their career, not somebody who's in their 60s just finishing their career. And that's the problem. When the market's going up, you feel so good. You know, Bob, you talked about this on the show last week. It's like the market was an all-time high like four or five weeks ago. Who would have guessed we would have seen a big correction with a snap of a finger like that? This couple clearly didn't. Except for Bob, of course. (laughs) And I didn't have a crystal ball. When we sat down, I had no idea we were a couple of days away from that. But we did have that conversation of there is a whole lot of risk here. And the real bottom line is they've done a really good job of saving. They have this nice nest egg. They're on track to be able to retire in a couple of years as they want to. However, the amount of risk they have in just those small couple of um, investments, they have the potential for a 35% decline in their accounts, which dollar terms, that's like $350,000. I call that a buzzkill. What do you call that, Bob? (laughs) I call that a life changer. I mean, when you have that happen to you, you think, yes, I'll be resilient. I'll be able to see through the valley. But that's not how we work as human beings. We we panic when we see that type of a, a loss on our statement. And it's really great. Courtney, you're able to give them a heads up, and now they've gotten a, a glimpse of what the future could hold. And the thing is, you know, once you retire, you don't want to go back to work, and you certainly don't want to have to go back to work. And, you know, look, there's lots of great jobs as a Walmart greeter, but uh, I don't think that's what these folks really have an in, intention to do. Exactly. And I think that's the bottom line. If they've done a really good job of saving, and those asset classes have done well, it's actually worked in their favor over the last couple of years. So this is a good time to say, you know what, let's appreciate the fact we've done really well. Let's take some risk off the table because we don't want to screw this up right before we retire. And that's really the biggest thing we can help with here. And I love that because it's like you didn't know the market was going to go down and clearly this couple didn't. But because you ran the projections, you knew they were taking too much risk. So it's like you don't need to be that smart. But by sticking to your plan, it's always going to protect you from doing the things you shouldn't be doing so that you're not caught. You know, as the Warren Buffett says, when the tide goes out, you don't want to be swimming naked. Exactly. Exactly. And there's really two ways of lowering the risk. And one of yeah. those is by just simply spreading out what you have in the stock markets. So without even taking anything off the table, making sure you do own other things like small companies and foreign companies and all these other investments out there because it can That's really right. hold you up. This month has been a really good example of that. A lot of things have actually held up better than just those big brand name U.S. companies. Like value stocks, for instance. Right. Yeah. Exactly. 
But furthermore, looking to take some actually off the table and safety things like cash and bonds, just making sure you have a little bit of nest egg there as you are nearing retirement. So doing a combination of those things is really going to work for this couple's favor. Well, income really shines when the market declines. Exactly. Exactly. That's one of the biggest things we talk about is you want to make sure you have consistent income coming in so that when there are times like right now where the markets aren't in our favor, you have cash flow that's coming to you regardless of what the markets are doing. And you can take that first and foremost without having to sell anything at a down point. And I love that here because in this proposal you put together, you're able to double this couple's income in retirement. So even the market's down, they're still collecting double the income they were collecting before. And we, we talk about it all the time, but income is so critical in retirement and so much more reliable than the whims of the stock market. You know, exactly. Rob, we talked about that a lot earlier in the show. When you have income coming in, you know, you have Social Security, you have your pension, but that's not going to be enough to cover your expenses. You have to have income from your portfolio. So you have to, once you reach that age of retirement, once you're in retirement, you can't look at your portfolio like a casino any longer. You know, you're not, you don't <laughs> want to make big bets. I mean, it's great that you make money when the market goes up. But boy, I'll tell you, a lot of people got a wake-up call in the last four weeks. Yeah, and just curious, did they did they move the advice before the market correction or you haven't met with them yet? We're moving on it now. So yeah, we can't time these things perfectly, but um, yeah, they, they do see the value add here. So it's yeah. something we're working on. Well, great job, as Bob likes to say, another financial masterpiece. Courtney C. Money Dominguez, as we call you. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a review like this to really manage the risk, optimize my income, make sure I'm on track. We still have a couple slots left. If you give us a call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Courtney C. Money Dominguez will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. We're going to look at all these different critical components. Are you properly diversified? Is your money too concentrated in one area? Did you feel the pain, no pun intended, of the stock market over the last couple of weeks with all the volatility? Can we optimize the income? We were able to double the income on the portfolio for this couple, so they're not as reliant on the stock market. We're going to look at diversification, so we're going to look at what hidden risks do you have? You can't predict those market corrections ahead of time. And then we're going to tie it all together and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 752 Six six nine two. If you're one of our next few callers, you have a few slots left, and you saved over two hundred thousand for your retirement. We'll run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, there's no strings attached, but of course, there's no plan unless you text or call right now at eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. All right. Well, great show, and Courtney C Money Dominguez, certified financial planner. That is like a <laughs> mouthful. <laughs> it's a long name, but it's well deserved. <laughs> you know what? Every word, every word is so important that you can't just miss one of those. Thanks for being on the show. Great job on your case. Thanks for having me. Big Bob, always a pleasure, my man. Always a pleasure to be on with Triple C, right? Certified, Courtney, uh, C Money. I don't know. There's too many C's. Where you <laughs> I think I'll be Courtney, all right? <laughs> you just need to know she's magnificent. Everything else is just details. I'll take it. See I'll take it. Stand for a certified fabulous person, right? Bob, you're killing me, man. It's a lot, <laughs> but I agree. It's going to go right to our head. But anyway, have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.